All right, so we got every Nintendo console ever. Let's grab some video. Ow, my ears, whoa. Uh, my favorite Nintendo the console Nintendo is the uh, Game Gear system. Y'all. Now you're playing with power. There's no company as synonymous with video games as Nintendo. Yeah, Originally true. founded as a playing card manufacturer in 1889, Nintendo took the game industry by Ooh, storm Nintendo 64. nearly 100 years later. GameCube. Clever marketing and sheer luck played roles, but it was a lineup of one successful game console after another that put Nintendo above the pack. Bro, I agree with that. This video was like a lot, like five years ago, y'all. So Nintendo broke into game consoles with the Color TV game series. Their plug-and-play units were built-in games. Most of the games amount to variations on the same concept and shamelessly <laughs> imitate popular titles. The Color TV Game 6 and Game 15 feature different versions of a Pong clone called Light Tennis. Game Racing Light 112 tennis. offers a top-view racing game. Oh Rock my God! Breaker been, has breakout-style oh. titles. I and played that game TV before. Computer TV game features the strategy game, that game Othello, in with the option to play an AI opponent. If Nintendo's TV game series was a modest success at best, their next attempt proved a hit. Designer oh, Game & Watch, okay, Yoko of course, I know what this is. the Game & Watch handhelds to play simple games on an LCD screen. I Over know what this is. Everyone knows who, Game what Watch Game & Watch models is. Were made, including adaptations of Nintendo arcade staples like Mario Brothers. The Game & Watch series lasted until 1991, but its biggest contribution came early. The 1982 version of Donkey Kong introduced a major Nintendo innovation, the cross-shaped yes, directional sir. pad. Yes, Inspired sir. by the success of Game & Watch, and perhaps envious of the Atari 2600, oh Nintendo God, again took aim at the home console market. Designer Masayuki Uemura gave the system novel features. The wired controllers used the same directional pads as the Game & Watch, and the second hey, controller down below, housed a microphone. Favorite, uh, Nintendo Officially controller. called Family Computer, it soon earned the nickname Mine's Famicom, the, uh, N64. as it enjoyed Roaring success in Japan. The system had support from many third party companies, and shortly after its debut, Sharp even manufactured a TV with a built in Famicom. With the Famicom's popularity really? growing in Japan, Nintendo began negotiating with Atari to release the system in America. The deal fell through, but that wouldn't stop Nintendo, as they were about to change video game history forever. By 1985, uh -oh. game consoles were all but dead in North uh -oh. America. A market crash had wrecked Atari and its competitors. Consumers and retailers shunned console video games. With this in mind, an undaunted <laughs> Nintendo brought the Famicom to the U.S. Carefully uh -oh. avoiding the label of video uh -oh. games, the Famicom hardware became the Nintendo Entertainment System. Yes, Boy Mora sir. fashioned it to resemble a front-loading VCR. The initial NES bundle also bro, introduced oh, the no, robotic this is rod to sneak bro. the system into toy aisles. The NES launched late in 1985, and by Christmas of the following year, it was a runaway hit. Games like Super Mario Bros. and The Legend of Zelda yes, propelled the NES sir. to the status of pop culture icon. America wasn't just playing consoles again, it was playing Nintendo. While the Famicom and NES looked different, they would get the same appearance in 1993, when Nintendo redesigned the systems for both Japan and North America. As the NES that. dominated America's console market, the Famicom reigned in Japan. Nintendo released the Famicom Disk System, a drive that attached to the Famicom and offered games in a cheaper, semi-rewritable disk format. Okay, I for never knew about this. I keep it real. Sharp combined the Famicom and its disk system in the twin Famicom. Yeah, I, know, I don't know about the this. the disk system stayed in Japan, it contributed to the NES. Metroid. Metroid and The Legend of Zelda started off on the disk system before they became NES titles in North America. Yeah, I never, yeah. Nintendo hadn't forgotten portable games, and as the Game & Watch series waned in 1989, uh -oh. Nintendo, Nintendo introduced the Game Boy. A compact oh, system oh. that ran cartridges, the Game Boy was another Gunpei Boy, Yokoi creation I had a red for Game portable Boy, play. Despite its green and gray display, it became one of Nintendo's longest-lived successes, fending oh off full-color challengers like the I Sega Game Gear Game and Atari Lynx. Nintendo reissued and revamped the Game Boy several times. The system came in a variety of colors in 1995. I look at that Game red Boy. Pocket I told y'all about a red one, bro. frame and sharper screen the following year. The Game Boy Lite and its illuminated display remained exclusive to Japan. Successful as it was, by 1990, the Famicom hardware was seven years old. Facing competition from a new generation of rival systems, Nintendo debuted the Super Famicom in Japan, boasting 16-bit hardware vastly superior to the original bro, Famicom. That, bro. A year these. later, bro, North America got the graphics, Super NES, internally the same yes, as the Super, Super Famicom, Nintendo but classic. outwardly more angular and purple. 
The Super NES <laughs> wouldn't dominate the market as the NES had, thanks to competition from the Sega Genesis, but it enjoyed a robust game library as well as add-ons and variants. The Super Game Boy and the Japan-only Super Game Yo, Boy I never 2 had a Super let game the console Boy. run Game Boy games, game and before. Sharp released the Nizo TV SF1 with a built-in Super Famicom. Although, not every add-on saw the light of day. A CD system that Nintendo co-developed with Sony I keep looking back because I, I thought I heard something. Like, Among bro. the add-ons for Nintendo's 16-bit system, the Satellaview was the most ahead I never of its had a time. Satellaview. Available only in Japan starting in never 1995, in the Satellaview attached to the system and let players download games through a satellite network. The Virtual Boy mystified much of the game-playing public in 1995. Designed by Gunpei Yokoi, the system displayed stereoscopic 3D graphics with a red and black palette. I never had this. Despite Wait a minute, what? Initial promotion, Nintendo abruptly like the discontinued the Virtual Boy after eight months of lukewarm reception. It remains Nintendo's shortest-lived system, and its library numbers only 24 games across America and Japan. Yet as the Virtual Boy sputtered, the next major evolution in Nintendo consoles waited just around well, the corner. Why is like I hear some? The Nintendo 64 embraced yes, the industry-wide move to 3D games and multiplayer, featuring four Let's controller go. ports, yet its cartridge format was expensive yo, I grew up on this, next yo. to the CD-based Sony PlayStation, itself a descendant of Nintendo and My Sony's aborted was, Super um, NES CD Diddy project. Racing. If the Nintendo 64 didn't have the Super widespread support oh God, of the NES or Super NES, it still did well with games bro. either made or published by Nintendo. Oh my God, that the Nintendo 64 DD add-on fared worse. Originally intended to combat CD-based systems, I never it had saw a quiet Nintendo Japan-only release in 1999. Though Nintendo supported it for two years, the 64DD catalog started at a mere yeah, 10 titles. That in 2003, the Nintendo 64 re-emerged in a weird way as the IQ Player, yeah, a plug-and-play system available only in mainland China that included several that Nintendo like 64 a, uh, titles. Y'all don't know, bop Nintendo it. Didn't y'all don't know. Far in crafting <laughs> Game Boy's it. first true <laughs> successor, released in 1998. The Game Boy Color sports a familiar design, but features a color screen, more powerful hardware, bro, and an I didn't infrared have no port. Other Game Boy, but the, the Game Red Boy one, Color's bro. biggest booster in the late 90s was an original Game Boy game, Pokemon. The Pokemon craze also inspired Nintendo's smallest cartridge-based handheld with Pokemon Mini, and two Pokemon like Pikachu devices in the played off the virtual pet craze. The Game Boy Advance brought Nintendo's handheld I, legacy listen, full circle. I love the, the Game Boy GBA Advance, but I never, the Game I, I never had the chance to get one. For a horizontal one. I've always wanted and its one, graphics though. resembled those of Super NES games. With little competition, the Game Boy Advance lasted long enough for several redesigns. The SP Damn, introduced man, a flip-open style and a front-lit screen, while a backlit version of it followed in 2005, alongside the exceptionally small Game Boy Micro. The GameCube found Best Nintendo embracing ever. the CD format or at least Best a disc format ever, about buddy. half the size of a regular CD. The compact oh system had God. four controller ports and featured the ability to connect a Game Boy Advance as an interactive second screen for select Bro. games. The Game Boy Player attached to the bottom of the GameCube, allowing it to run Game Boy Advance games. More obscure is the Panasonic Q, a Japan-exclusive GameCube model with a DVD player. They just copied it sounded them strange player. in concept. A hinged Nintendo handheld DS, with a go. touch sensitive screen before. beneath its gameplay field. Yet the Nintendo DS this was an if you had a DS bro, you got all the girls Whether in they school, used bro. the touch screen to great effect or ignored it completely. Nintendo put the DS through redesigns. The sleeker DS but I was Lite getting followed, bullied, along with the internet capable DSi and the yeah, super-sized DSi XL. With the DS well received, Nintendo was about to gamble their next console on a whole new way to play the Wii. games. The Wii, right? The Wii was a daring Classic. concept, an entire Classic. home console that revolved around a motion-sensing controller. Catching on with mainstream audiences as well as devoted gamers, the this, Wii hey, was, this a was a smash. The original bro. Wii featured this GameCube crazy. controller ports as well as backward compatibility. These features vanished from the 2011 redesign of the Wii, and the 2012 Wii Mini further stripped down the system by removing any online connection. Nintendo introduced Wii the 3DS Mini? I've the never heard that before. a three-dimensional effect controlled by a slider switch. No glasses required. Beyond that, Nintendo the 3DS, 3DS yeah, improves classic. on the Nintendo DS with more advanced hardware and extensive online capabilities. Its revisions include the larger 3DS XL, as well as the new 3DS and new 3DS XL, both of which feature additional buttons and processing power. The 2DS and its new 2DS XL successor I've never had both the, uh, omitted the, 2DS the 3D before, effect. Though.
Nintendo stuck close to the Wii for its replacement. Wii the Wii U's main I console like looks Wii strikingly similar to the basic Wii and is backward compatible with Wii games and accessories. However, like Wii its Wii U, true innovation lies in the Wii U's controller, which combines a large touchscreen with traditional inputs. Though it followed the Wii's example, the Wii U struggled to match it in sales and third-party support during its five years on the market. Yeah, I Seizing never... on the Wii U's greatest innovation, the Nintendo Switch stands between a portable the, system and a firmly planted home console. This is the best Nintendo console the The tablet-sized Switch accommodates side-mounted controller attachments That's what I was for saying. portable play, but it also fits into a mount and the connects to a console, TV. The best Nintendo console since the Wii. 2016 saw Nintendo return to its roots with dedicated plug-and-play consoles. With nostalgic appeal, the NES NES Classic Edition and Classic Mini Family Computer are palm-sized versions of the original NES and Famicom, containing oh, slightly different collections okay. of 8-bit games. The Super NES and Super Famicom Classic Editions once again repackage beloved older systems, housing somewhat differing lineups of quintessential 16-bit games. If there's okay. one philosophy that defines Nintendo's console history, That's it's it? a combination of innovation and experimentation. I agree. I agree, man. Nintendo, they have some amazing consoles. My favorite game console is a Nintendo console. It's the GameCube. So other than that, comment down below. What is your favorite Nintendo console? I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. And...